Welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 11.12. Now we're told that the sinusoidal signal supplies 20,000 VAR reactive power to a load of Z is equal to 250 with an angle of negative 75 degrees in ohms, right? The first part is asking for the power factor. So we know that we can use this angle to find the power factor as the power factor is equal to the cosine of that, which is the same angle which is found in the load impedance. So taking that, we're going to say cosine of negative 75. This is negative, which means this power factor is leading, which means that the angle associated with the current is greater, right? So it's leading. We know that for sure. And its value, or the value of the power factor, is 0.2588, right? So that is the first part of the question. Moving to the second part of the question. We now know the power factor. Apart from that, we know that this angle, which is, let's say we had S, right? So this is associated with the reactive power the reactive power, which is the imaginary component of your complex power. So we have Q, which stands for reactive power, is equal to the magnitude of our complex power sine of that same angle, which is associated with the impedance as well as the power factor, as well as the difference of the voltage in the current which is negative 75 degrees. Now this is a negative, it's going to produce a negative because this is sine. So we expect that we can find this value of S to be Q, which we are given in the question as 20K, or 20,000, divided by sine, negative 75 degrees. And you should find a value of negative 20.71K, now, we're interested in the magnitude of this apparent power, so we're actually going to take the absolute of that, which is 20.71 kilo VA, and that is your apparent power, and that is the second part of the question. Now, moving on to the final part of the question, it is asking for VRMS. Now, another formula for apparent power is... Apparent power is equal to the magnitude of VRMS as well, multiplied by the magnitude of IRMS. And you're actually going to say this value of VRMS and IRMS are going to be multiplied by each other, but we are asked to find VRMS. And we know this value, and we can quickly find this value. So VRMS is equal to S divided by IRMS. Now, going back to that same uh, reactive power, you can also find it using this formula over here, multiplied by the complex part of your impedance. So the complex part of the impedance. So this impedance is given to us as this value over here. So you can just transform it into rectangular form, and you should get this value as your rectangular form representation. Now, taking this imaginary part and substitute it into this formula, you're actually going to find your reactive power. So in here, we're going to substitute negative, or just going to substitute the value of its value. So we're going to substitute 241.48, right? We can just take the that same negative value as it is, doesn't really matter. But in the end, we want a positive value for the amplitude of this. So you're just going to say IRMS is equal to the square root of Q, which is 20K, right? Divided by 241.48. So the square root of this should actually give you a value of around 9.1. So you know that your IRMS is 9.1. You're going to come back to this formula up here and say, you know that the value of your apparent power, we just found that in the previous question, it is 20.71k. I'm going to divide that by the newly found value of IRMS of 9.1. And therefore, our VRMS is going to be 2.276 kilovolts. 